What's going on, everyone? We are back with a review over episode 24 of Thousand Year Blood War. What a phenomenal episode this was. Easily my favorite of this course so far. You know, we had a lot of reveals that I definitely need to look deeper into just to try to, you know, maybe connect the dots, see if I could figure something out with that. Also, the fighting here, just seeing how strong the Royal Guard and Squad Zero is. It's just mind blowing. Like, we were watching them fight in SS, but these people right here, they're on a completely different level. I'm excited to rewatch that, but let's jump right into it. You know, Ichibi is that guy when he's pulling up to the Ops territory solo. This fight is gonna be crazy. Worry about the world, your empire. And how I kind of saw this, it's like, Soul Society takes in all the power while the Quincy's don't really have a say in everything, you know what I'm saying? So I understand why Yuabod, you know, declined it. Says he's playing him out. Don't disrespect me, I know what I'm talking about. But you know nothing. And the way Yuchibi speaks, it kind of throws me off. Like one of you guys were saying this was a speculation, but like Yuchibi was baiting him to take you about his powers which i could definitely see but it's just like the way he talks like he's definitely like trying to start a problem you know what i'm saying but he's also just stern he keeps it real when he talks yeah the fact that he has to deal with all this like come on of course he's gonna be upset with the decision it's a lot to take in don't say my name so lightly talk to me nice okay they move the same way. That was so fire. Okay, so this ability. He completely caught all the Reishi. Reishi? Yeah, Reishi bullets. And sent it back. So, like, what would you call that? Like, he froze. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let me just keep going. <laughs> Hit him with the flashbacks. And I'm pretty sure he's holding the Soul King right here. Let's see, let's see if I can pause it. Ah, I can barely see, but yeah, he is holding the Soul King. I can see the haircut and everything. And with this, he still doesn't have the limbs, doesn't have the arms, doesn't have the legs. And I'm pretty sure one of the arms is with uh, Ichibi. Sacrifice child. Cannot take it away. So he doesn't even believe what Ichibi's saying is what it sounds like. Troublesome. Okay. Oh. Completely finesse that off of him. Okay. I can't believe the Soul King is Yuaba's daddy. Like, that is crazy. No wonder this man is such a tank. Like, he is so strong because of that factor, too. You have become nothing. So, this is kind of showing the despise for his father now. Seeing, like, uh, the world that he presented. You know, he got the truth with the flashbacks. All that. To be worshipped. He does not agree with him at all. Okay. Banish along with this world. Jeez. So, based off that, he wants to get rid of the Soul King. You know, we've been hearing the same thing. He wants to create his own new world. He doesn't like the one that is present. It's nice to see Ganju again. Of course, they have a very tough task at hand, but I believe everyone on screen right now has improved drastically. It's crazy. They were thrown down and they completely paused to see everything happening. I feel bad for Robert, bro. He wanted to help you about everything. <laughs> I like that on my Yuri. He's dissing, uh, what's his name, Orahara. This episode was... Perfect. The OSTs, sound effects, everything. There's no way people were complaining about this. <laughs> this sound threw me off, but it makes sense with like the bendy ability. 
Like, that's the only sound that's valid. This guy is pretty strong right here. But it's tough that you went against Senjumaru. She too nice. She did that so quick. We didn't even see her put the patch on it. Saw the images. So, we saw Ichigo had these same eyes as Yuba in the Soul King, right? So, I think we're about to see some crazy power out of him. Like, insanity with him. So, I'm very excited about that. But, since uh, we're seeing all these characters, I did want to mention this before I forget. We still got like, you know, like Shunsui Ukitake. We saw Ukitake was, I don't know if he was meditating or what he was doing, but he was in that room. Like, before, once we saw, you know, Yuba, Yugram, and Shia going up, I assume like we're about to see a chase down from the Soul Reapers going up. We already saw their going up, but what about the other people like Shunsui, Ukitake, and them, right? They gotta pull up. He, Shunsui, he's been quiet. Of course, he's leading on the troops, but he's got to make his move eventually. And same with Ukitake. I feel like he pulls up. The only reason I say that is because why would they show Ukitake at the very beginning of Core 2? <laughs> she really tossed him out of the royal palace. That is insane. Brought out the royal guard. They are some beasts. They got the logo on the cape to distinguish they the Royal Guard. I love his design. His design is super cool, especially like the whole eye, everything. You know how he kind of is a sniper. It reminds me of like a, how do I say it? Like a reticle? Is that what it's called? You know, just showing like precision, I guess you could say. Okay, his was X, you guys said it was X axis because Gerard said something about it. And I guess it makes sense with uh the whole sniper. This guy, uh Pernida. Pernida Parin, I'm not gonna try to say that again. Okay, C he was like deforming people, making them a ball. Crush? Crush? You know how you like crumble a piece of paper or ooh. Ooh, crumble. Could be crumble like you're crumbling a piece of paper or crushing a piece of paper. It's got to be one of those. <laughs> I love asking. He's like, oh, I didn't know I was going to be in this position. Now I got show off. He's going to go crazy, man. Like, of course, he's showing that he's kind of nervous. He wasn't expecting all that, but he definitely has a lot up his sleeve. I can already tell. Um... Gerard Valkyrie. So he's like a warrior. Maybe he's the muscle. I'm not gonna lie, that sounds like a horrendous guess. I feel like this is so easy, and I just can't think of a word with end. So we'll just have to see about him. He rushed her quick. I like how they did this right here. Of course. They got baited, but it showed the potential they hold. This shrift is broken. There's gotta be a catch with this ability because it's way too broken. Like, okay, he folded this, like, holy soldier. And then he folded Senjumaru when she was dead. But, I don't know, if he could do it to anyone, yo, that shit's way too OP. Oh, such a good transition to the title number and the name. I'm not gonna lie, they got me. I heard the Royal Guard's crazy. I assumed she was dead. That shit was just insane. How was I supposed to know? But I guess, you know, Osho was planning. So come on now. That wasn't easy. So they've cakewalked. Through every opponent they've been through. So now they're actually facing a challenge. So right now they're under pressure. It's going to be interesting. Like, holy shit. 
took out each individual palace with one bully each. He is disgusting. That man was spamming, couldn't do nothing. And I like how they introduced Squad Zero and the Royal Guard because they really gave us the opportunity to see what each of them possess. You know, with uh, Hikefune, we saw the cage. And just like the Royal Guard, we saw what they're all about. I mean, to be fair, we still got to see more out of Squad Zero. We've only seen a couple of the members go to work. Tenjiro's entrance. With the OST in the background. Beautiful. Oh my god, bro. It's too good. Like, I know the next one's gonna be better. Even Kubo was saying something like, uh, I put more time into the next two episodes than any episode in Core 2. So, it's gonna be the best of the best. But this episode actually just left me in awe so whatever's about to happen next episode bro i don't even know what i'll do <laughs> i love his entrance this guy's such a goat i do wonder why his blade was in this jelly i don't know if it was specifically stated hasn't fought in a long time but was this nice Look at the damage this Jared, uh, Gerard is doing, man. He said, like, a simple manner to dodge a man's hug, bro. He said, hey, hold the A-yo, bro. <laughs> Look how quick it is. I love how they're portraying how fast they are. Like, um, with Senjumara when she was weaving the stitch... She, like, teleported down the stairs with Oetsu. Uh, Valkyrie's still in the middle of his swing, and he's in a different position. It's just showing the level we're seeing them fight on is nowhere near what SS was doing. I think I said that wrong, but, yeah. What we're seeing here is crazier than what's happening at SS. He out. Me, 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 me. That man's sleeping. Turned him into a water fountain. The baddest man in Squad Zero. I love it. He tested his gangster. He split that. It's just weird because with all you could say defects his sword has, you wouldn't expect all that out of him. But he is the Zompokto creator. It's all a part of the plan. The sound! Look at that slice up the body. The walk! That motherfucker was trying to snap his neck. He was trying to snap his neck. Chuck that bitch at his face. Oh! <laughs> oh, the way you rushed him and hit Aizen at the same time. Or, not Aizen. Askin. Man. Helped him out. <laughs> Man was chatting. Caught another one. So much to look forward to. Ichigo's pulling up. Squad Zero versus Royal Guard. Ichibi versus Yuoba. Shout out to Yuoba, man. I love this shot. Music completely goes away. Oh! The sound effects, man. They're so good. Seeing the reaction of Squad Zero. But this moment right here is crazy. Yuba just got out of an indestructible cage to pull up on his op Ichibi. Holy shit. Absurd. And the badge drops back inside of the cage and then we get a shot of Bashida. And I'm pretty sure it is something to do with Ashida. I'm not gonna lie, the comments kinda influenced me in thinking that but with this I really don't know what he's all about it's like a what would you call this like a teleportation ability so it's gonna be super cool to see what Sheeta is all about the fact that Yuba just escaped that cage 
That sh that ability right there from Ashida is broken. It looks like they didn't expect him to escape. I kind of predicted that Yuba was going to move forward while the others spied on. Hey, you need to give Yuba a helping hand. Yo, Ichibi is one badass dude. That's all I'm hearing. I feel like... He has an insanely cold side, like a dark side. We just haven't seen it. What are your thoughts on that while he's floating right in front of him? Demanded, you will let me through. <laughs> and you still say my name lightly. He's saying, hey, do not play with me, Yuaba. Do not play with me. And, dude, this shot, Yuaba is just, I don't know, bro. He looks beautiful. I came a lot. But, yeah, he's basically saying, I've sunned you so many times. Like, don't be saying my name like that. I don't play. If you lose your voice, I'm about to punish him. Pause. <laughs> oh, this fight is going to be so good. One more thing. It looks like the Royal Guard has completely got obliterated by Squad Zero. Like, Squad Zero is levels ahead, but they were caught off guard, to be fair. And this is just uh, the Royal Guard and base and everything. They still got Volstan stand dig up their sleeve. They got a lot they could do, you know? But don't get me wrong. Squad Zero, they went crazy. They went crazy. I am very nervous for these two episodes for the reason that I think it's going to end on a cliffhanger. Of course... You know, how much time do we have? Like, 48 minutes for these two episodes? It's enough to get the point across. But I don't know. I just feel like it's going to leave on a big cliffhanger. And it's going to, like, sh like it's going to hurt me. It's going to hurt to wait that long to get the next episodes. The future pitch black upside down. The future pitch black. Upside down. Is that like a play on words with like vision? Like the future pitch black. Upside down. Basically, I think he's saying that he's going to pack him. But I don't know. With that said, we just got to play the waiting game now. I honestly believe that I am about to get hit by a bunch of surprises. A bunch of things that I wasn't expecting. But... Come on, there is so much to look forward to. Yuoba and Ichibi is going to be crazy. The Royal Guard versus um, Squad Zero. Then we have Ichigo versus Shida. Yo, so much. But I appreciate all of you guys for watching. I'll catch all of you in the next one. Peace out.